It's 2 a.m. and you feel like calling. I know what you want by the tone that you talk and just get to the point with a boss. Ah oh shit, there it is. Also, guys, intoxication can video and shit today. Alright, guys, in today's video, well, guys, there's gonna be a few weapons coming to Apex Legends very, very soon. And I wanna touch basis about these weapons before they are released. So, before we get into that, guys, first thing I want you guys to do is to subscribe if you haven't already and drop that thumbs up on the video. And then comment after you have viewed the video all the way. We are on the road to 4K subs, guys, and we are almost there. But anyways guys, much love once again, let's get right into this. Alright, so guys, whenever the Havoc Rifle dropped in Apex Legends, there was actually supposed to be another weapon that dropped with it. But, that weapon got delayed. This weapon was dug up in the game files, and it was soon, well, sooner than later, you know, shown to be the L-Star LMG. Now, for those of you who have played Titanfall or any of the Titanfall games at all, you will know what this weapon looks like and what this weapon is. But, you know, of course, this weapon transitioning over to Apex Legends, it's going to change over a little bit. And here are the stats for this weapon for whenever it does release. Guys, another thing about this L-Star LMG for against this, it is another energy ammo, you know, gun. So I'm not a big fan of that, but, you know, honestly, it's a new weapon, so I'm down to give it a try. The ammo clip size for this weapon is 60 rounds in each clip. The reload time is 3.23 seconds. The DPS, which is damage per second for those of you who do not know, is anywhere between 252 to 504, depending on if you're hitting headshots or body shots, of course. Now, the damage to head per one shot is 42. The damage to body per one shot is 21. And the fire rate is 12. Now, it is a very powerful weapon, but to make up for how powerful it is, it does have a slower fire rate, just so you guys know. Now, the mode, you know, the fire rate is automatic. It's not going to be a burst weapon. It's not going to be, you know, a uh, select fire, anything like that. You're not just going to have to tap the trigger. Um, the projectile speed is going to be 18,000. The draw time is going to be 0.55 seconds. And the ADS movement speed is going to be 41%. The max headshot distance is going to be 2,500. Now, this gun to me right now, in my opinion, I feel like it is very, very powerful. So I feel like one reason why they did not release it with the Havoc Assault Rifle, not only just because, you know, they're not going to release too much content at, at once, you know, I do feel like they're trying to, like, tweak it as well. But in my opinion, I feel like the fire rate being slow, it makes up for every other, you know, aspect of this gun. So... At this point, guys, this gun was supposed to be released on March 2nd, but since it hasn't been released so far, I feel like they're going to be waiting for the Battle Pass to drop just for this weapon to come with it. And, you know, in my honest opinion, I feel like that's kind of a smart move on their part because it allows them to basically drop a new weapon, a new legend. And then the next thing, which are the new game modes, which I went over in my previous video, you know, concerning with the Battle Pass. And one of the new game modes is going to be called Survival. And along with it, there's going to be NPCs, as there was listed. And there's going to be also, from what there is gathering in the game files, remote turrets and even a flamethrower. Now, I want to touch bases on this real quick, and I just want to give you, you know, something, it's a theory of mine, it's nothing true at all, there's nothing in the game files that says this is true, but I just want to talk about it and have your guys' thoughts down below. So, this company is a Call of Duty based company, Respawn is. It's the truth, it's a Call of Duty based company. So, what is Call of Duty known for? That's zombies. In my opinion, if they're going to be adding NPCs, if they're going to be adding in flamethrowers, if they're going to be adding in remote turrets, that can either mean one or two things. They're either going to be adding in titans, which they've already listed they're going to be adding titans later on, and of course it's a new game mode, so maybe it makes sense. Or, maybe perhaps it's going to be a zombies mode? Like, I really don't know, but it's called survival. So, I mean, that's something to think about, guys. It's called survival. There's going to be adding flamethrowers, and they're going to be adding remote turrets. So, that's just something to think about. It's a theory I'm throwing out there. I just want to let you know, you know you know what I'm thinking. I want to know what you guys are thinking down in the comments below. But, anyways, guys, on the NPCs, this is how they exactly work. Now, there's actually coding for them. 
And the coding goes like this. The code references a Goliath, a Flyer, a Spider, a Prowler, a Soldier, a Spectre, a Stalker, and a Pilot, and Pilot Elite NPCs. There are then other lines of codes that allow these, uh, these NPCs to perform actions such as firing weapons and performing and being executed. These all sound like player commands, so could these NPCs be being added to be like filling up space in the servers? Like, I mean, hopefully not. But, you know, another thing, guys, the NPCs, there's a mention of them being rodeoed, which, of course, is a term and a mechanic straight from Titanfall Universe. But apparent, apparently this code is a reference to the word for a hover bike. This may seem a little far-fetched, but I'm sure some players would appreciate the ability to travel the map faster, so maybe it's just for a hover bike or something like that, you know, because I know, for instance, Fortnite, you know, they have all these, you know, vehicles you can, you know, use to, like, roll around the map faster. So maybe Apex Legends is adding in something so you can travel across the map faster, like a hover bike. And, of course, Respawn has never written off the possibility of Titans coming to Apex Legends, so perhaps some NPC Titans could be included. I mean, it's just a thought. But, you know, guys, on this whole thing... On this whole survival game mode, it could be a number of things. Like, at this game, you know, at this point, it's just a guessing game, of course, of what it could be. But in my honest opinion, I I just, the, the name survival mode and the, it just the fact they're bringing turrets and flamethrowers and everything like that, it just sounds like zombies to me. Man, I don't know why it just sounds like zombies to me. But another thing, guys, if they're going to be having Titans and you know everything like that, then maybe it's just a Titans game mode. Who knows, guys? But let me know what you think down in the comments. Anyways, guys, much love once again. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you haven't already and drop that thumbs up on the video. What you guys think about these new weapons, everything, new modes, everything like that coming soon to Apex Legends. But anyways, guys, much love once again. Peace.